Hey, what's going on and good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and we're going to be doing a new account build update. So for everybody following along, you know, I've been building a new account here for at least a few months, maybe a little bit longer. And we're continuing to do that today. I've got a lot of stuff to go over with you. I've earned a ton of season rewards chests last week that I've been saving up to open this week on the stream. As you can see here, we are now over 1,000 games. We're winning at 93%. We're currently on a 40-game winning streak. We'll play a little bit of tour play today uh, just to see if we can keep the winning streak going, but really more importantly to start to knock out this, the weekly number two uh, reward chest. And I'll show you a golden shot. I actually just took a golden sh a shot on my other account as practice. And uh, on the very first shot, I picked up a hole in one and then I hopped over to another account and then wasn't even close on a couple shots. So I'll show you the hole in one though because it was pretty exciting to get that, especially a week where we got a different type of ball. We have a berserker on steroids is what they're giving out this time. So, you know, that's really cool. Let's sort of take a look at where the clubs are at right now. Uh, so I did, I did hit the extra mile seven since the last time we done a stream. Horizon is staying there. Pretty much the rest of the clubs are staying pretty stagnant right now just because these are getting up to the point where they're very difficult to level up, going to require a lot of cards, especially, you know, these epic clubs for sure. Um, you can see there the rocket is getting uh, close to its max out point. I'll have to start upgrading that pretty soon. But, you know, we're probably a thousand cards away or so from... Uh, the Rocket, the Viper, getting close to being maxed out. That's going to be really nice to get that Prism Chest this early in the game. That'll be sweet. The Dart is definitely getting there as well. And you can see some of these other clubs, like the Desert Storm, has a ton of club cards available too. But as of right now, you know, I'm not wasting any of the coins upgrading these clubs until I know that they've reached the Prism Chest. I'll just have to hop on there and do the math real quick. Won't be hard, but I know that we're not there yet. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's start opening these chests that I saved up for this stream. And then after that, we'll go take a look at the golden shot hole in one. And then I'll play the golden shot on this account and see if we can't get anything good. Hey, there we go. Five extra mile cards. That's what we're hanging out in tour number two for to get those. That's a nice little win. We got one Kingfisher. That'll be cool to get that to a level four. And then, of course, I saved all these gold chests here to open up. Um, just kind of let them sit there for a few days. All right. Come on, let's get some extra mile in here too. I'm trying to get greedy. Ah, we're not going to get it after getting that club. But that's all right. We'll take the junk list. And we'll take the season tokens for sure. Okay, this is the fun part. Let's go in here and see what type of work we've been doing. So as you can see here on the daily challenge, I need to win one more game with a birdie or better, um, that'll be easy to do. These ones right here, these are the hard ones. When you're building new accounts, these are the ones that kind of, you know, are not fun to get because completing 10 putts from over five yards, well, with our clubs, we're always right next to the hole. Uh, so what we have to do here is we need to wait until we go second, and then we need to pick a game where the opponent really messes up their drive or they don't have a chance to get the green in the same amount of shots that we do. Because then what we can do is we can actually lay up far away from the hole and just make a long putt to get that one. And I'll show you that later. This one right here, win 20 games in the shootout. Oh my gosh, like um, going to a shootout now is very, very rare. So this is one that I might just let go and not even worry about it just because I've I've taken myself to the shootout on purpose before trying to get this one, and then I lose the shootout because somebody gets like a hole-in-one or something silly, and then I get mad at myself because I could have won the game, but I let it go to a shootout, so I probably won't be doing that anymore. These are the, the season ones that hit the ball for 100,000 yards. That's normal. We're already halfway there. Win one 100 games. We're going to pick that up today on this stream. That'll get us 500 more tokens, so that'll be pretty sweet. But let's go in here and start to collect all this stuff. Now, as normal, you know, I collect number one through four because these are never uh, chest. But I always wait to start collecting five onward until I can do it with all of you. You know, we don't normally get a whole lot of good stuff, you know, in these blue chests. But that's okay. Cards are cards. We're going to take as many as we can to start to max these things out. 
You see we pick up a Malibu there. That one's um, a Tour 3 club, I believe. So it's going to take a while to build up. Considering we're not even on Tour 3 yet. More practice tokens. The red ones are, are a good chest. You know, the black ones are really the best. The dart, 28 dart. That's nice to get it to the max out part. 20 runner. Yeah, this one's really just kind of a dud. More Malibu. That'll be nice um, once we move our account up. You can see the backbone. The backbone's only about 1,405 cards away from um, maxed out and then 300 more to the prism, so that's really nice. We'll definitely get there because the backbone come very, very common. Well, wow, that's really pumping me the Malibu cards for sure. I wonder if that's the same for you guys who are still in uh, tour number two and with these chests this season, getting all these Malibu cards. I normally get those a lot in the golden shot. Okay. Yeah, really not, not a lot to ride home about right now for sure. All right, come on now. Let's be good to us this time here. Nice amount of gems, that's for sure. The Firefly, we'll take that. That's a nice one. More Viper. A oh, Viper's going to be maxed out here at about 1,000 cards. All right, yeah. Well, nothing crazy, but the good news is, you know, as we get deeper into these, especially the level 20s, sometimes the cards get better. But regardless, at the end of the day, you know, we still accomplished our goal of collecting as many cards as possible so that we can continue to develop these clubs. All right, let's go ahead and go into the replay here of the hole-in-one that I just took right before I got on here. So if you take a look at Tommy's guide, which are normally always very well, for the golden shots. What you have to do is put your red ring on the rough here. You put your red ring on the rough right when it changes from the plus 15 right there to the plus 16. So as soon as it changes over, that's where we want it to be. This is really strange. I, I looks like I set it up wrong, but hey, I'll, I'll take the result. Maybe the one yard didn't matter. Half a ball not half a ball, half of the ball in the adjustment zone, left curl. We got this thing to sneak in the hole for the hole in one, so that was nice. Definitely like getting these balls for sure. Now, you all know this was on one of my rookie accounts that I play, so the Thorn cards was nice. But most importantly, that's what we came for, those right there. All right, so let's hop out of there. Let's go back into here. Let's play a couple games real quick. What we need to do is win, I believe, four or five more games, and then we get those 500 season rewards chest. That should let us open up another chest here. This is one of those holes now if the opponent messes up that we'll be able to lay up and get one of those putt challenges. But we'll see what happens. And Thursday, we have an upcoming tournament, and then, of course, the full tournament starting next week. I hope everybody's excited for that. You know, I think we're going to see some big scores coming for sure. 
So we've got to get dialed in and, um, you know, really be ready to compete like always. All right, so with him hitting the perfect ball and we're both on the fairway, I'm going to have to try to chip this in for the win and just call it a day here. You know, but the nice part is here, um, you know, we may end up going to a shootout, oddly enough, and then maybe we'll pick up a win and that'll take care of one of those shootout out of the 20 that you got to get. Or that I have to get this week. Hopefully you've got better ones than that. Oh, we're going to come up just short. The backspin always gets me on this hole. I always need to know. I need to use less backspin. The ball just dies on this one. Now this is a situation to where <laughs> I wish I would have laid up and taken the putt challenge and then gone to a shootout and kind of knock out, you know, two birds with one stone. But you never know when you go first. You got to play to win in this situation. But if we win this game, then we're going to pick up those 30 season tokens from the challenge where you got to get a birdie, win two games with a birdie or better. So we pick up a birdie. Then we'll see how the shootout goes, of course. Here on this one, we play a no moving target. We play with one bar of backspin, and when the wind blows um, tailwind from right to left, I actually use a little bit of curl, like right curl. Not much, just a little bit. You know, typically, we always get ourselves within a yard of the hole. And 10% elevation at max. So 2.1 rings, one bar of backspin. Perfect ball. We came in a little, little fast there. A little bit too fast. But we do sneak out the win and we pick up a close shave challenge. We pick up another gold chest. So let's go in here real quick. We're going to take this. Absolutely. Thank you. Win one game with the Eagle or better. We can pick that up on the next game. But let's go ahead and open up the gold chest and see what we get. Come on, extra mile cards. Be good. Hey, look at that. Six of them. That's why we played Tour 2. Six extra miles. That's a great little steal right here. We need to win four more games. But let's go ahead and have some fun in the golden shot. Now, for this golden shot, I'm strictly going to be focusing on the hard difficulty only. I normally play both um, editions on my new accounts. Um, but for this time, no way. I'm just going to go with where these nice balls are at. And, you know, we'll see 
what we can pick up here. Got to get the guide pulled back up. All right, it's ready to go. All right, big bucks, no whammies. This one's definitely not a gimme, you know. Playing with the driver. At least the driver's one-to-one, -one, so it makes the ring pull easy. Free shots. Let's go. Headwind, right to left, plus 16. One top, point eight left. Pull over the bullseye, no curl on this one, not on this wind angle. Oh no, Dave, don't waste a shot. Hit a great ball, who knows what's gonna happen here. Fail. All right, no big deal. We just go on again. Sometimes it happens. But it kind of stinks. I hate wasting the free one. I want to at least pick something up here on this account. These balls, you know, are going to be great, um, especially for pro expert master. Not something I'll use a lot on rookie. Um, well, maybe um, as I play these accounts here. Oh my goodness, what am I doing wrong? So this is what happened to me on my other account. But on that one, I forgot to look which way the wind angle was blowing. All right, that's not going to happen again. Come on. We got this one, everybody. We got this one. All right, pay attention, Dave. Okay. Point three back, one left. Point three back, one left. I got a good feeling about this one. All right, that's better at least. My goodness. What a what a dud I hit on this account, man. Sometimes that happens, though. It just is what it is, you know? 10 dart, 2 firefly, 3 Bryson balls. You know what? I want to do it one more time. I'd like to have at least 5 on each account. So I'm going to do it one more time. Remember I said that one more time on a stream and I end up getting a hole in one. So maybe, maybe we'll do the same thing here. I hate to be three or four dollars into you for only a couple balls. So, okay, 3.8. This is going to be, whew, this is a tough wind angle here. It's kind of in between the guide. So I don't know how we'll do. really kind of in between the guide here. I'm, I'm not 100% positive. Well, you know what? At least we got a perfect ball. We'll see what happens. Did my best. Ah. 
Ah, just a little short. All right. Well, you know what? At least we picked up two rings on four shots. Second one was my fault. I just didn't pay attention to which way the wind angle was, and I kind of had to guess. Because, of course, it changes as you start to move your screen around. You know, we didn't really get anything special, but we did get those balls at least. All right, so now I'm going to hop into just playing some random play here on Tour 2. In hopes that we pick up some wins along the way. Oops, that's, I don't want to do that. What am I doing, Dave? All right. I'll play a few games here. I'll pick up those 500 season tokens so we can see what's in that chest. And then I'll just kind of speed open chest along the way. I always take a look at my opponent's stats real quick just to see if I'm in for a tough game or not. That'll help me gauge what I need to do as far as possibly getting these season rewards. I'd love to know, you know, just like last time, how are your new account builds going? How many games have you played? What's your winning percentage? Let me know what your longest winning streak is so far. That'll be fun to kind of hear what everybody's doing. Be honest. You know, just be honest with what your longest streak is. On my new accounts this time, my longest streak on one account, I think is like 80-something games. And right now we're sitting here in the 40s. And again, this is me not paying attention to what I'm doing this morning. I'm trying to check my work email as I play. Uh, well, our opponent's going to rage quit anyways. But that would have been a situation where I, I would have wanted to lay up farther away from the green. So I could get that putting challenge. This is one really annoying part about the game. Is that you can't bypass this. So it appears our opponent has quit, um, but we just have to sit here and wait for it, which is really, really annoying. Come on, game. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess we get to collect that one. I guess it gives us the eagle, uh, even though we didn't have to play the hole through. So we'll take this. Thank you. And now we move on to the next game. I'll let these chest slots fill up and then I'll start to kind of open them, like I said, as we go. You know, that'll be really nice to get those out of the way. Also, if you get like that one daily challenge where you have to rematch an opponent, that one's pretty tough to get as well, I think, to, to do. You don't get a lot of rematches. I'm kind of stuck on that one on my other account until it lets me switch out the challenge. Oh, but I can kind of give you an update on the other account too because everybody knows I'm doing two and they're in the same clan. This is my Kratos account. I've got the Clash DP on my other one. So in just a second here, I'll give you a, a look at how that one's going.
So here now, since we have a developed extra mile, I always lay up right here. I know you could always go with like the power slice shot. But let's take a look at the clan and you can see where we're at. So here's my other account right here. So this one's on a 57 game winning streak. It's not at as many games played as this account, uh, but it's pretty close. It's within about a hundred games. And I'm gonna go ahead and just play that account um, on my other device while we're playing this one and start to knock out that 100,000 yard season reward plan, okay? So, you know, in this situation, um, I could go for the win and try to drop this shot. Which, what's this one I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try to go for the win here. We go max backspin. We go 10% at max. You know, I start playing the elevation and rings. You know, once my backbone gets pretty nice and developed like it is now. Kind of just helps us be more accurate and win some of these games faster. Great ball. That's not going to go in the hole, though. So we'll be heading to a shootout. And then hopefully we'll pick up another one of those shootout things. And I had said at the beginning of the stream, we don't go to too many shootouts. And now here we are in two games. Well, no, I guess in three games going to a shootout. So that's good. That's good. I mean, I'll take it. I'd like to... Get that 120 tokens. It's not going to happen on this stream. There's no way we're going to 20 games in a shootout. I probably won't even play that many games. And then on my other account, my clubs are very, very similar um, as far as I got the extra mile seven, you know, the backbone nine, all that good stuff. We got a perfect ball. We're going to be a little bit short here. But like I said, if we play that way, we're always normally right around the hole, typically within one yard. Opponent's got the Grim Reaper. That's a club we don't see too often. Good club, too, for sure. He's using a little bit of overpower. But a pretty nasty great ball to the left. So hopefully we pick up this win. Hopefully they don't get bailed out with a bad great left. Got it close, but now we pick it up. So two more wins and we pick up the unbeatable achievement. That'll get us those 500 season reward tokens. That'll be nice to have. Or this is another hole that could easily go to a shootout here. It's the par fives that typically never go to a shootout. Sometimes these par fours go to one. I 
We could try to roll through the rough up there and land onto the other fairway. Let's give that a shot. Stop, stop, nope. Just a little bit too much juice on that one. Uh-oh. All right, so now let's let's do this. Our opponent is not going to be able to make it to the green in two. Let's hope that they don't rage quit on us, and let's pick up one of those putting challenges. Lay up way over here. Right, great left didn't help. That'll get me closer to the hole. That'll be good enough. So there will be over 10 yards to get that putt into the hole. Oh, that's nice. Good. Yeah, roll back. Pick up some more yards. So I think that's the best strategy when it comes to picking up some of these, you know, weekly challenges where you have to putt over 10 yards. That's one way to kind of just make yourself do it just like that. Because now at worst case scenario, we tie the hole and that's not going to be a big deal because then we could go to a shootout and try to pick that one up as well. Things are going nicely so far outside of the two blunders on the golden shot. Um, I saw it. It's um, by the bedroom door. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look at that. We are going to a shootout. We have the opportunity to pick up progress on the two rewards. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, we hardly ever go to shootouts, and here we are, every game going to a shootout. With a perfect ball, this should be close to a hole in one. And there it is, we hop into the hole. Like Babe Ruth, we call our shot. This is actually uh, coming across really nicely. I mean, considering that we're going to be picking up three more games in the shootout. We picked up a couple of the putts. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with only being playing the game now for about 20 minutes or so. I mean, does want a rematch. I want to make sure we need one more win, right? Yep, we need one more win to pick up the unbeatable challenge. And that's going to be a nice 500 tokens. I'm pretty excited about that one. This is a par 5. So this is a situation to where if our opponent messes up, we could go ahead and try to do it again with the putt. This one, we easily clear the sand so we don't have to go crazy with the overpower. 
We just want to make sure that we land on the fairway. He's going for the home run here. He can easily bounce over um, the sand, which is what we what we had to do whenever we first started playing the game. You know, we take our our rocket, our low level extra mile, and we just play it over the sand with as much topspin as possible. This is probably going to land in the rough or the sand. Oh, he cleared it. He cleared it. All right. I feel like that was a little lucky, but that's okay. That's all right. I am going to pick up the putting one here, though. I'm not going to even try to make this shot. I just want to land over here and then pick up the distance on the putt and gladly go to another shootout. This is nice how this is working out, for sure. Now we just have to make the putt. All right, so let's see which shootout we get. Are we going to get the one we just played, or are we going to get the downhill slope? Either way, we feel confident with our clubs, you know, as we should uh, when we go to these shootouts now. So, but every once in a while, you catch a bad break. Somebody gets one on you, especially on this one. <coughs> now, while I've been playing this, I've been playing the Clash DP account. It's now on a 60 game winning streak. I've picked up three wins. And a couple season rewards, actually. So that's nice. I seem to always make the hole in one whenever our opponent messes up, like when I don't need the hole in one. Like that. <laughs> so it seems like when the opponent gets like 0.28 yards away from the pin, that's when I get like a, you know, a one dot or whatever, but. Whenever the opponent messes up their way up there, that's when I get the hole-in-one. This poor opponent, we've picked up the hole-in-one on twice in a row. You know, I'll leave it up to them if they want to try again. All right. Very nice. Now we go in here and collect the season reward. Come on. Let's get some big club cards. Now we got a red chest at least. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Thank you, game. 
So we've picked up 17 extra mile just on this little gameplay alone. All right, nice. Take it, thank you. And what do we need to get here? We need how many more? No, no, no. 70 remaining. That's going to be easy. We're just going to go in here and open these chests to get that. So here's 10. One extra mile. We'll take it. Thank you, game. Killing the extra miles now. Now we're on fire with them. We'll have to play a few more games to get that next chest. We're not going to get those on this stream, probably. Definitely not going to get those. All right, good. So we're, we're kind of winding down this season stuff already. It'll just be up to me off stream to pick up the rest of those weekly ones and then wait for next week to come. And then the 100,000 yards, and this thing's pretty much over with. And I'll just kind of let them sit for the last two weeks other than pick up the little challenges. Good. Our opponent gets to go first, so we'll get to gauge and see how we want to play this. I still don't think they're going to be able to get to the green in two since they hit the rough and rolled out. So as long as we can drive nicely up the fairway here, we'll do the putting challenge again. That'll be good to go. Oh, they can get there. They can get there. So let's see if they make it. Perfect ball. Nice shot. That was well done. So we're just going to lay up. We, were, we are going to do the putting challenge anyways. We'll put the pressure on our opponent to make their shot. That's all we have to do. I cannot believe we're going to another shootout. This is amazing. It really is. Here we go. Let's load another one up. All right. Let's see if we can keep the hole in one street going. Probably not, but we'll give it a shot.
Oh, I hit a great ball, so it's going to be even worse now. I always play this 1.1 rings here because I play it 20% at max. I put as much backspin as I can, but leave half a bar. The only thing that can go wrong in this hole is sometimes you can roll down the hill. It doesn't happen too often. But another hole in one on the shootout. So I just always say whenever I'm playing along with you guys that are watching, you always bring me good luck for some reason. We're crushing these weekly challenges that I thought were going to take forever. We're picking up hole-in-ones like crazy. Um, so, you know, overall, so far, so good. The extra mile cards have been there too. So I appreciate all the good vibes that must be coming from you guys in advance, you guys and gals. We need to open up one more slot here in order to pick up that next, I think it's a black chest. So come on, hopefully that's a good one for us. So this one's, this opponent's 71%. Kind of assume they know what they're doing here on the game. All right. So now we'll see if we can both get down to the green. I know I'll be able to get down there. We'll see if our opponent can. Now you see this one's a difficult to like lay up on and try to get the putting one because you know you just get that roll onto the green. So this is one where we'll just probably Hopefully get to the green no problem and then just take the win. Unless our opponent makes a really nice third shot. And then I'm more than happy to go to a shootout. Oh, this is good. I think this is going to be close to qualifying for the putt challenge. And then my other account right now is winning every game without going to a shootout. It's geez, We've picked up five in a row just when I started playing a few minutes ago. I'm hitting every single shot. Every eagle opportunity that I have is going in. Hit an albatross as well. All right, so we broke the streaks of heading to a shootout. But let's see if this one picks up the I like big putts challenge, which is a funny one. It does, so we only need three more of those to pick that up. That'll be good. And I think we have enough now with that gold chest to get the black chest. Come on, can we get more extra mile? We getting greedy? All right, that's okay. That's all right. We've, it, it's been good to us so far. We do have enough.
Oh my gosh, three extra mile in a silver chest. That's really rare. Wow, we're getting some really good luck. All right, now with the speed opening, we move on to opening the black chest. That backbone, look at that right there. That backbone is looking good. It's going to be maxed out soon. Here we go. Number 20, black chest. Worst case scenario, we're going to get a lot of cards. 27 gems. Two Kingfisher. Come on. That's nice. The big dog. Oh, we can level it up. Let's do it. Even though we don't use it yet, let's just do it anyways. Nice. So now, now we're in for the long haul to start picking these up. All right. So it's going to be a little bit. But we can start cranking them out with the season, with the daily rewards. Uh, the weekly rewards. I still have this week, next week, and the final week left to pick those up. And then on top of that, we still have that 501 right there to go. So... What I'm going to do now is take a look at these clubs. 6,400. Yeah, we can do it. We got plenty of coins. That club is building very nicely. Already a level 5. That's crazy. All right. So here is what I'm going to do the rest of the stream. If you want to hang out, that's awesome. I appreciate everybody who's watched so far. Please take a moment there to hit the thumbs up button. And I'm going to play until I fill up these chest slots. So I'm going to fill these things up. And then I'm going to hop off here and call it a day. Well, not call it a day. I'm going to actually start my day and go to work. I work today at 11 o'clock. All right, same thing. We're just going to gauge what our opponent does. Oh, come on, Dave. Put it in the rough, really. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's safe to say, you know, we just lay up for the putt again. Um, probably not going to make the shot out of the rough anyways. So this is going to be nice progress towards that putting challenge. Uh-oh, so my other account uh, is at 63 games now, and it's in jeopardy. I've got an opponent here who's played 9,245 games. They're using a Kingmaker. They have a 94% winning percentage, and they are currently on a 128-game winning streak. I wish we were playing that opponent on this account. That would be fun to see. Um, they just went with a power slice on the par 5. And they are in good shape for an albatross opportunity. I'll keep you updated. We're, of course, just going to use the basic ball like we always do. Sometimes you run into these players, man, that they're just Tor 2 snipers building their clubs up. Now with 9,000 games, this guy's got his extra mile leveled out. Nine. Um... Yep, he's got he's leveled out probably on almost everything at this point for the most part that he can unlock. So he's taking his second shot now. Here we go to another shootout on this account. McShooter goes first. I'm 
my opponent on my other account left the ball right at pin for the albatross. I mean, you cannot get any closer than what he just missed right there. All right, 5.29 yards. Let's go. One point one rings. That's about what my opponent's shot looked like for his albatross opportunity right there. So uh, very, very close to picking up our fourth hole-in-one in a row. But we got the putting challenge. That's always a good one. We got the close shave. I cannot believe we've gone to six shootouts together. That's pretty awesome. And we're just going to – oops. We're just going to just – Start the unlock process, and then like I said, I'm going to fill up these chess slots, and then I'll be finished playing. And now I am heading to a shootout on that other game that I was telling you about. So we'll see what happens, man. Okay, what's going on with this? Why are we frozen here? I had a great ball on my other shootout, so I'm going to pick up the loss here, darn it. <sighs> okay, what's going on here, guys? Oops. Oh, my opponent experienced a problem. Okay, no problem. You better not have done anything here. Oh, okay, we're good. My opponent hit a great shot to the right on my other account, and I pick up the win against a shark. Always nice running into these people when they have a massive amount of games played on a huge winning streak, and they're using a kingmaker, and you pick up the win with the basic ball. Oh, I love that one. I know I shouldn't, um, but it is fun. That's just the competitive part of me, you know. It's nothing to sit here and beat these players like we're playing now um, on this one. But when you run into the players uh, who are doing the same type of thing that you're doing, but for a much longer time, that's a lot of fun. Uh, this was right here. This was the course that I actually just played on the other account where he did his power shot and just left his albatross short of pin. All right, so just a couple more games and we'll be good to go. All right, so opponent in the rough. You know, we'll just go ahead and do the same thing that we've been doing the whole game. Laying up here, it's always easier. Not Well, it's not easy, but it's always a better to lay up on the back of the green here. Because if you don't, then you get too close to the hole. That's normally a good thing. But for what we're trying to do, picking up that putting challenge, we want to get back here. Yep. And the ball should sit and we're fine.
But again, you know, I'm kind of hoping that he makes this shot because we're on a really good, got some good luck going on here today. All right, Outlaw Hulk, let's get this thing moving. And maybe when we fill that last chest slot, we'll be able to do the same thing with the putt and pick up those season rewards. You know, not that it's going to matter for opening a chest on this playthrough yet, but it will on the next one. That 120 points will go a long way. Yeah, we just need one more putt and we'll be good. He wants to play again. We'll see if we can pick it up right here. Of course, opponent wants to rematch on this account. I can't get anybody to rematch on my other account so that I can get rid of that daily challenge. It's been sitting there for, you know, almost a day, and I just can't get anybody to rematch me. We're just going to lay up and then try to take our shot to pin on shot number two, probably. This one is a little bit harder to... Um, get yourself far away from the hole just because of the funnel on this green. Sometimes the ball just takes you to the hole. Or the green just takes you right next to the hole, I should say. But we'll we'll gauge and see what our opponent does here. So that's what we could do too. We could lay it back of the green. And then we knock out that season reward, or we can go for the win. Let's go for the win. Let's see if we can get this one in the hole. At least we hit perfect. That's step two. Step one is adjusting, right? And we did adjust right. All right, so we pick up the win there for a nice little eagle. I just didn't have a good feeling about going to this shootout for some reason. I don't know why. Opponent did a rematch. You know, maybe he was in for blood. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't feel too good about heading to a shootout on this one here. But we do get a nice little gold chest. We'll take that all day. Let's open it up and see what we get. Come on. All right, rough cutter. Rough cutter got us this time. Two more games. Two more games, and then we're filled up. They're probably going to be silver chests at this point, but that's okay.
Here we go. This is one of the better holes to pick up the putting challenge on um, because a lot of times the opponent messes up the drive, especially if they're a newer player. And then I go ahead and mess up my drive like that. I shanked it pretty bad. But look at that. I kick off the tree and I'm just fine, right? Sometimes better to be lucky than to be good. Alright, Kirk. Kirk is in the I Got It clan. And his thing says, I got my COVID-19 vaccine. So maybe that's what they're just all about on this one here. No clan points to the entire clan so far. Now, he made a good shot. So... He made a good shot, so we're not going to be messing around laying up. We're going to have to try to hit the eagle here for sure. We do. So now we put the pressure on him to pick up the eagle. And I think this is going to be it for me. This would be my last game. I do appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you don't mind, before you leave the stream, so go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. Uh, hopefully he's not rage quitting here as this is a makeable shot for sure. So we have 45 seconds here. Oh, no, nope, he's going. Okay, I thought I, I thought that would have been a weird one to just quit like that. All right, so we'll do a check-in real quick. We'll see what we got this winning streak to. And then that'll be it until next time. So 51 games on this one. I just finished up a game on Clash DP right here for 66. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.